how to make homemade pizza, but I have a very special guest to help me with it. So, welcome in, Paxton! I got my nephew here today to help me. So, so we're using this hot roll mix by Pillsbury. So Paxton's gonna be my little assistant. We got our flour mixture in. He's gonna add in the yeast. All of it. Now we need three tablespoons of olive oil. So you wanna hold it and I'll dump it. If you don't have extra virgin olive oil or olive oil, you can just use a regular vegetable oil or canola oil too. We're adding one and a fourth cup of hot water. This is what is gonna activate the yeast to make your dough rise. So now is the fun part. Paxton here is gonna get messy. Go ahead and dump the dough onto the flour. What we have to do is knead the dough to make it all nice and smooth. So, <laughs> so we gotta fold it over itself. I love cooking with my Aunt Lexi. I'm gonna put it in the bowl and we're gonna cover it with a towel and let it rest until it doubles in size. Well, our dough is all proofed and ready to go, so we're gonna make our pizza. A little bit sticky, all you gotta do is sprinkle a little bit of flour on it and then away you go. I use a fork and make holes all through the crust so we don't. Sauce time. Go ahead and dump all in the sauce. You can just pour it over the whole thing. And the pizza sauce is just like salsa. I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> you can customize it to whatever you want. Now comes the cheese. The cheesier the better in my opinion. Cheese Louise. I don't know if you can ever put <laughs> use shredded cheese and not eat it yourself. <laughs> okay, pizza's ready to go in the oven. It's gonna cook at 350 for about 15 minutes. <music> All right, our pizza's done and it looks great. Paxton, what do you think of our work? Looks pretty good. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking with Lexi, and a special thanks to my nephew for joining me today. Mm -hmm.